Open Core, the basic way part number 4, Windows. Since we made the how to install Windows without bootcamp video, which is just some months ago, many things have changed in our macOS world. Big Sur is released and hundreds are already running Apple's new released version on their beloved Mac Pros. Thanks to Martin Law's Open Core package, it wasn't that easy to install an unsupported software on the related Macs. While my method before always required a running Windows in a virtual machine or on a physical computer, it was a bit complicated maybe. What if you don't have a handy Windows laptop laying around? What if you have already upgraded your Mac with Big Sur and realize a virtualizer like VirtualBox are not supported on this particular OS? Well, we have an answer for this. At the moment, Parallels Desktop is the only virtualizer that can handle Big Sur. As always, you find the links to the related tools in the description below. Prepare a 16GB USB drive. Have a hard disk ready for the Windows installation. Download the Windows 10 image file from Microsoft. Get the free trial of Parallels Desktop 16 from their website. Open Parallels Desktop and install it. Parallels will ask you to install Windows after it is installed. We won't. Choose the previously downloaded Windows image file. Windows will be installed. Let's speed up the process a bit. Once Windows is installed, Parallels might want you to register your trial version. This step is necessary. You can't work with a virtual machine until this is done. Open Microsoft's Edge browser and type in the search bar, Media Creation Tool. Select Microsoft's Media Creation Tool and download it.
in parallels menu bar, select devices, USB and choose the USB drive. Allow Parallels the access to the drive and choose the USB as the destination for the installation. Let Windows create the installer. We have now a fully functional Windows installer USB drive where we can boot from. Restart your Mac and choose the yellow external USB drive. Let's begin the Windows installation on the hard drive. Choose Custom Install and delete the correct partitions on the drive which should contain your Windows installation. In my case, it's a 120GB SSD. Don't choose your drive which contains your macOS installation. Let the installer copy everything. After the restart, always choose the gray internal hard drive symbol called Windows. That's it! Windows is up and running on your OpenCord Mac Pro. Let Windows find all the system updates and let it install all the drivers. Except the Bluetooth device, everything should work fine. You can download the correct driver from the links below. Thanks for watching!